Basically, he said, always a guard in your life and promote a lifestyle of shedding your old life. Uh, something fascinating happened to me this week. <clears throat> you know, it, we had our snow day. Actually, it wasn't a snow day. I worked that day, but, you know, it was a snow day for the office. And, uh, and, and so I decided that I would conquer that heavy, wet snow, so I shoveled three times. And, and so I wasn't going to let it stay. I just kept going out and shoveling. And uh, I was sitting at lunch with Bonnie, and, and, and she was smiling at me, but she kept leaning closer to me like this. And I was just all excited to know what she was going to do, and so I was smiling at her. And she kept leaning closer to me, and she said, Are you growing a mustache? And I said, I'm not growing a mustache. It's snow day, so I didn't shovel. I mean, I didn't shave. I shoveled instead of shaving. I said, it's snow day. I didn't shave. I shoveled. And she looked at me and she said, and that much grows in one day? I said, yeah, you know. It's, I, I mean, I should have shares in the razor company, uh, you know, because I use a lot of them. What was interesting was that normally, you know, I get up in the dark and I shave, and when she sees me at lunch, I don't look that way. And so she saw the normal me and saw the presence of something that wasn't normal. Now think about that. And she's close enough to me that she was scrutinizing me and saying, something is changing, what are you doing? Now look down at these verses because it's talking about the church having the same relationship that, that Bonnie was having with me in our accountability to each other. We're all supposed to be looking at each other and saying, are you putting off, verse 22, concerning your former conduct, the old man that grows corrupt according to deceitful lusts? Are you doing that? Because I can see, I see it growing back. I see you acting like you used to. I see that, that anger. I see that, that boastful, that pride, that, that centrality of your desires and your needs, and that's all you're thinking about. I, I see that anxiety. Are you growing an anxious mustache, you know? Are, are you growing, uh, it, it's coming out of your life. Did you know that people close to you should see a decrease of your temper, a decrease of untruthfulness, a decreasing anxiety. Did you know there are people that are more fearful every time you meet them? They're fearful of everything. They're fearful for their health, they're fearful for their money, they're fearful for people breaking in, they're fearful. Of, they're afraid of being afraid of everything, and they're just afraid. And no one near them goes, are you growing that beard of fear on purpose? Do you know it's growing? You're supposed to, verse 22, be getting, putting off, shaving off, getting rid of, concerning the old way you were, the old man, the, the, the pre-Christ you, the, the one that's corrupt with lust. But it is enough just to shave. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind, verse 23 says. And put something new on top of that. Put on the new man which was created. Note Paul describes the actions after the Ephesians were saved. Look back, the, the saved is verse 17 to 19. And testify, no longer walk as the rest of Gentiles walk in the futility of their mind, verse 17. Their understanding was darkened, they were alienated, they were past feelings, they gave themselves over to lewdness. That's, that was before you were saved. Now that you're saved, keep putting off all the whiskers of the old you that grow. And we all have them. I don't mean whiskers. I'm talking about the old us. And we all are supposed to be getting rid of it. And people that really love us notice and should say something when we're not getting rid of. Paul reminded those people and asked them to start a lifestyle of shedding the old life repeatedly. Old habits like old clothes are so comfortable, they fit us so well, we often forget we even have them on. 
until the Spirit of God convicts us through his word and through those around us. And Paul was reminding that those who live a life holy to the Lord must repeatedly put off the old ways. And if we struggle with anger, anger has to be shed daily. And if we struggle with pride, pride has to be shed daily. And this is the choice we make for lust and greed and fear and any other byproduct of our flesh. And most believers that fail to grow in their spiritual lives fail to grow because they do not understand the lifelong need to shed and get rid of the old life. They just think God's going to do it all. Let go and let God do it all. And God says, I won't do what you're supposed to do. And if you don't do what you're supposed to do, you're going to reap the consequences. Be not deceived, God's not mock. Whatever you sow, you're going to reap. He that sows the flesh will from the flesh reap corruption. If you don't get rid of and put to death the flesh and you allow it to keep coming back into your life and into my life, we are going to reap the corruption of our relationships, of our joy, of our fruitfulness, of our usefulness. It corrupts everything. If we don't have a lifestyle getting rid of it, 